Hello friends, this problem illustrates how you can calculate acceleration of a pendulum bob. So the problem is called acceleration of a pendulum bob. So this problem says, a simple pendulum of length L is tilted from its lowest position to a position where its string makes an angle alpha with the vertical and release from this point. Find the acceleration of the bob at a position where a string makes an angle theta with the vertical during motion of the bob. So let us try to see this problem. So what we have, so let us say this is the point of suspension and this bob is, this pendulum is suspended from this point. So initially this makes an angle alpha with the so this is my vertical plane. So initially this makes an angle alpha. So this angle is given. So this is alpha. Now after certain time when you release this bob and this is making an angle theta. So this angle is theta. So this angle is theta. So this is the bob. So here we have the bob and this is released from alpha angle and when this comes at theta angle. So you have to find what is the acceleration. So acceleration let us call this point is point A and this point is point B. So it has been left from point A. So what is the acceleration? So we have to find acceleration. at B. Mass, let us say mass is given, theta is given, alpha is given, length of a string is also given L. Now how will you solve this problem? You have to find acceleration. I give you hint. The first hint is you have to find normal reaction, normal acceleration or often called as radial acceleration and tangential acceleration of the bob when, they, when this makes an angle theta and also you have to use energy conservation, energy conservation. So if you apply this fact then you will able to find the total acceleration, total acceleration is nothing but a square root of radial acceleration plus normal acceleration. So let us pause this video and try to solve this problem. So if you solve this problem then you realize that now you have to apply the energy conservation to calculate the velocity. So let us say this line is here and this line is here. So this distance that is this distance or simply I can this, dis, this distance will be how much? This distance will be L cos alpha and this distance will be how much? This will be L sin alpha, L, L cos theta. So this will be L cos theta. Now if you apply energy conservation, this bob has come from A to B. So this is the amount of potential energy that has been lost. So potential energy loss is mgh and this distance h and h is basically nothing but L cos alpha minus L cos theta. So this is mgh and this is equals to gain in, put, gain in kinetic energy. Initially there was no velocity of the bob when it reaches here there is a velocity. So this is half mv square. So from here you can say v s square is equals to 2 z l cos alpha minus cos theta. So we will need this v s square. Now let us try to find acceleration. So you will have acceleration in this direction tangential acceleration and you will have acceleration in this direction that is radial acceleration. So if you remember we already said that radial acceleration is V square by R. In this case R is L. 
So we already know V a square, so we can calculate radial acceleration that is V a square by L and this is V a square here, so this you divide by L, so this becomes 2Z cos alpha minus cos theta. So we calculated the radial acceleration. How do you calculate tangential acceleration? Tangential acceleration is dB by dt. So tangential acceleration is dB by dt. But how we calculate dB by dt? So what we will do is, we will use force. Force divided by mass that will also give the acceleration. So in this direction, so this force is mz. This angle will be theta. So in this direction, force will be mg cos theta. So in this direction we will have force that is mg cos theta. So I am showing it here. So this will be mg cos theta. So if I apply force is equals to mass into acceleration. So mg cos theta is equals to mass times acceleration in the tangential direction because this is a force in the tangential direction. So from here we can say a tangential is equals to g cos theta. So we calculated the radial acceleration that is this term and we calculated the tangential acceleration. So we calculated both. Now we can calculate the resultant acceleration that is a square root of a square plus at a square and this will be simply this is radius uh, a radial is 2z so this becomes 4g a square cos of alpha minus cos of theta whole square and this plus g square cos square theta. If you want you can take g outside so this will be z and this is simply cos square theta plus this is 4 cos alpha minus cos theta whole square. So this will be the total acceleration if the ball is released from an angle alpha. Now question for you, what will be the this value, the total acceleration value when the bob is released from horizontal position? So let us write the answer in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.